Perspective interior. When you're starting out with a perspective interior, first you're gonna to wanna to make a rectangular box in your sketchbook. I do this so that when I create my horizontal line and my two vanishing points, I can create my vanishing points outside of the picture plane. Then from there, I made a vertical line, which is going to be the edge of my room, and then I create orthogonal lines to either vanishing point, which then are going to show where the wall meets the ceiling and the floor. Now I'm using corresponding orthogonal lines to create the window frames along with vertical lines that show where they end. I am creating a desk because this is going to be my ideal office space. Um, and now I'm gonna create a door on the other side of the room. So one thing that's really fun about create, creating an interior space is that you can imagine what you would like this, this space to be. And it really could be anything. It could be a bedroom or a kitchen or a living room or maybe a gaming room. Um, it's really up to you to decide. I figured I would do my office because that's where I'm spending a lot of time right now and so it just made sense for me. Now, ideally in my office, I would have a desk and a bookshelf. You'll notice that for my desk and my bookshelf, I'm either using the right vanishing point or the left vanishing point to create my orthogonal lines, and then I'm using vertical lines to create the rest of the information. If I'm making any other kind of line, it's gonna not really work, so I have to either use a vertical line, right orthogonal, or left orthogonal. And because I'm only using those three kinds of lines, it's really difficult to mess up. Um, after I created my chair there, now I wanna have sort of a rug because right now my office is carpeted, but I think I would really ideally like to have an office that had wood flooring. And so this is me, again, getting to design what I would really like. Now for the wood flooring, I'm going to create the planks using one vanishing point and then the slats that show where the wood boards end using the other vanishing point. Again, it's really important that you're either using the right uh, vanishing point to create your orthogonal line or the left vanishing point to create your orthogonal line and then verticals for everything else. So I have my rug on top of my wood flooring. I'm going to make a ledge for my desk that overhangs a little bit. All of these little details are gonna be what makes the image look realistic. I would really recommend using a ruler for all of these lines. You notice I try to kind of do it on my own there and it just makes it really difficult to not use a ruler. Even the inside of the window frame, I'm using orthogonal lines either to the right or the left vanishing point to create that inset area. The more details you add, the more interesting your design will look. Things like the door hinge and doorknobs. And really it's your ideal space, so whatever it is that you think is important. Now for me, um, it would be really important to have a place for one of my three cats to hang out. And so I'm gonna create like a little sort of cat bed in the foreground. And remember that when things are closer to you from the horizon line, they are bigger. And when they get closer to the horizon line, and especially closer to that vanishing point, they get smaller, and that's why they appear um, smaller is because they're farther away. The concept of perspective was developed during the Renaissance, and a mathematician noticed that when things are farther away from you, they get smaller. And he came up with this idea of perspective by saying not only do they get smaller, but they get smaller at a constant rate. And by using the vanishing point, you're able to map out that exact rate in which they get smaller and the angles in which that happens. Again, the more detail that you can add to your space, the more realistic it'll look, the more interesting it'll be for other people to look at it. As an artist, your goal is always to get other people to wanna to look at your artwork 
And when you add little details, like I am with the mailbox through the window, it gets people drawn in, looking at all the little tiny details of what you've added. So I encourage you with whatever it is that you create to add all those little details. Now I love to read. So my bookshelf, of course, is gonna have a nice volume of books. I particularly like reading science fiction books. And so I'm gonna put all of my books on the bookshelf. I'm also gonna have some plants and sculptures and other things in that space as well. You'll notice for the sides of the books, I'm using again the vanishing point on either side. And then I'm creating sort of some folded blankets down below. Again, another little space that my cat could curl up in if he wanted to. One thing that's nice about using a pencil to start out with is you can quickly adjust and erase things that maybe you didn't want to have in your space. And after I'm done outlining everything with pencil, I'm gonna go back in with a fine tip pen and darken all my outlines. Now it's also really important you wanna have some greenery and potted plants in the office space, bring some of that nature inside. And so I'm gonna have a couple of potted plants in my space as well. So now that I have all my pencil markings done, I'm going to finish it off with outlining it in pen. I have to be a little bit cautious when I'm outlining this in pen because I can't erase the pen when I'm done. So I have to be very sure that this is how I want it to be. I look forward to seeing your perspective drawings and you can see more at Kempel Art Soup.